there is perhaps a, a weakness in trusting to those who can talk persuasively, uh, who can, well, as my wife would put it, bullshit creatively. Um, the problem is that people who can do that, and I would include myself on a good day in that, can sell you anything. They can sell you um, crap on a shovel and make you think it's the finest Belgian chocolate. We are all gifted or imparted with a brain and the ability to use one. And the issue with pundits of any kind, including myself, is that you should fact check what we are saying. If you don't do that, you are laying yourself a road of trouble. No one, no one, including me again, is above question. Anyone who ever says they are above question or who puts themselves up in such a position is inherently rendering themselves dubious to me. All propositions of, regarding history or politics can be questioned. However, it's harder to knock down some than others, and some are backed by such considerable proof that you'll find it difficult to knock them down and you'll put yourself in a foolish position by doing so. Witness the growth of the Adolf the Painter movement on many channels, which has caused me to roll my eyebrows a lot of the time. Because when you ask these people to back their points up, you'll get stuff like the Lecter report chucked at you or stuff like that that can be disposed of with 10 minutes worth of research and a bit of um, sort of looking through that, that over a cup of tea. However, when you've got people using articles on science, law, and all sorts of other things to try and push dubious agendas, and there are people on the left and the right doing this, go and look yourself. You are not idiots. You can go and look up the articles yourself. There are numerous open access portals and I'm going to give you a link to one at the end of this on this channel where you can find loads of open access academic material. And I wish more was open access because I'm a big proponent of it. There's still a lot of academic material that's locked away where the only way you can get access to it is if you're a member of an academic institution or otherwise if you're a member of the public, you have to pay a shed load of money to look at it. And I truly do mean a shed load. Some of these articles will be £50 to download a buy. But I'm getting very worried about the gullibility of the human being as I grow older. Turn this on and look yourself. You don't have to believe me. I'm just a guy chuntering away on the internet for a, a bit of amusement. I'm just another human being. I'm not some genius figure. I don't set myself up to be one either. If you find me interesting to listen to, fine. I'm happy to, to hear it. But I'm worried that we've got these people with half a million strong audiences creating, well, tension would be the word for it.